Hey, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who do well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the elect who firmly believe on Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, the title of this lesson is going to be Focus on Your Character as opposed to your reputation. Focus on your character as opposed to your reputation. Why? Because what's your character? Your character is who you actually are. Your character, uh, the, the habits that you do on a daily basis makes up your character, you know, and that's who you actually are. That's the sincerity. You know, that's who Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai sees. You know, that's who the angels see. You know, the, they, they see your character. They see how you conduct yourself, how you maneuver, you know, as opposed to, you know, reputation. And that's how other people perceive you to be, you know, because a reputation don't necessarily have to be the truth. You know, here it is. People, people talk and people may hear things, you know, but that don't necessarily mean that you are who people say you are, you know. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is not judging you off of the thought process how other people may perceive you. He's judging you based upon who you actually are. You know? The actions that you may have done. The sins that you may have refrained from or may have committed. You know? That's what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is judging his people based upon. So we want to focus on character and not reputation. You know? Because people want their flowers now. So that's why they do things to um that's why they do things pretty much to uh please the people as opposed to pleasing the heavenly father and his son you know so real quick let me get um psalms 50 and 23 it says whoso offereth praise glorifieth me and to him that ordereth his conversation aright will i show the salvation of the heavenly father you know so what conversation is pretty much what your conduct you know now if you maneuver in a godly and righteous manner that's how the heavenly father is going to show you the pathway to salvation you know here it is you talking about smoking weed all day you talking about partying all day you talking about having sex with this man's woman all day you know the lord can't show you the salvation why because that's contrary to the pathway of salvation you know here it is we we live in out a prison sentence you know Though we may have a couple of laughs within this captivity, essentially there's nothing to really smile about. You know, we got perilous times about to um, come upon us. You know, we got pestilent plagues that's being fabricated within these uh, laboratories to be released on the masses of the people. You know, we got this elite of the society pretty much orchestrating a famine, you know, to keep people from rebelling to furthermore depopulate the earth you know so we got a lot of turmoil that's about to happen on the soils of america not only that thermonuclear missiles are being made daily you know and america is going to receive 200 million of them you know so we got to focus on our character you know we have to focus on our character you know if the spirit is on you to you know, get deeper in the scriptures or get more understanding in the scriptures, do so, you know, do so. The scriptures say, for we have to work our, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, you know, we have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, you know, here it is when we watch that movie, uh, class act, right? Here it is that big, that bully. You know, who, um, that bully before Blade Brown came into town, you know, that bully, he, he pretty much had a reputation of not to be fucked with. You know, he had a reputation of not to be fucked with. You know, everybody was scared of him. You know, <laughs> everybody got out of his way. You know, but what ended up happening? Blade Brown came to town and he got exposed. You know, he wasn't that big, bad bully. Everybody perceived him to be. Why? Because he got exposed. His reputation didn't live up to his particular character. 
you know, because who was his character? He was getting punked, <laughs> you know, to, um, what's that guy's name? Tommy's character. I forgot his, I forgot his actual name, but Tommy from Martin, you know, he was punking him behind the scenes, you know? So he was really essentially a punk in character, but his reputation, he made it look like as if he was this tough guy, you know? So, so that's one thing you don't want to be within this truth. You know, you don't want people to look at you as if you're this particular person, you know, but inwardly you're not walking according to the scriptures day by day, or you're not living by this truth day by day, you know, because that's who the heavenly father is judging. That's who the heavenly father is paying attention to. You know what I'm saying? You know, we, we, we can do all the works in the world, you know, but if we're not sincere within ourselves in the midst of doing the work, What's the point? You know, what's the point? Um, next scripture. Let me see. Um, Second Peter chapter three, verse 11. It says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Matter of fact, let me start at verse 10. It says, second Peter chapter three, verse 10. Uh, let's start at nine. It says, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise as some men count slackness. But is long suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. You know what I'm saying? And that's character. In order for us to have repentance, in order for us to have the hope for salvation, we have to fix up our character. You know, we have to pretty much examine ourselves, whether we whether we be in the faith, you know. It says, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Now that's hot. <laughs> Can you imagine how hot that is, man? Here it is. You here it is. You say you baking some salmon or you baking some chicken. Now, aluminum, that's an element. Aluminum doesn't get burnt up. However, when you touch, you know, that particular dish from being in the oven for what, 35, 45 minutes, that shit's hot. You, 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 if you touch it without any mittens or gloves, you know, you're catching blisters and things of that nature. You're catching burn marks, you know. It's hot. But it says the heat that's coming, all the elements is going to be burnt up. No element is going to be able to contain that heat that the thermonuclear missiles possess. You know, it says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Character, man. It didn't say what manner of people ought we to be, how other people think about us. <laughs> you know, now I'm not totally um, discrediting reputation. You know, I'm not totally discrediting reputation because, you know, that that's that's it's, it's, it's an indicator, you know, it's, a, it's an indicator of the righteousness that, that that is within you, you know, because here it is. One thing about um to, to, to be influenced, you know, people have to vouch for you, essentially, you know. So even the works that Yahweh Shai did, you know, the word carried on, you know, and once the word and once the miracles done was seen for themselves, that's when the belief system came in, you know, that's when the belief system came in, because to be honest, before I came into the truth, you know, I heard about the apostles, you know, I heard about the apostles of Great Millstone and, and the reputation that they upheld, you know, as far as work ethic, you know. And that helped gear my mind to attempt to maneuver in the same fashion, you know, or just to pretty much like the scriptures say, mark the perfect man, because at the end of that man is the way of peace. You know, now I'm not totally discrediting reputation. You just don't want to focus on a reputation. That's going to come when it comes. The scriptures say, let another man esteem thee, you know, and, and that's how reputation gets built. But you don't want to focus on that because that's how pride and ego manifest when you focus on reputation. Right. So it says, looking, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be and all holy conversation and godliness looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of the heavenly father, 
wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. You know, that's the kingdom of heaven. That's the kingdom of heaven that we long for, you know. <clears throat> so why so why should we give a fuck about this society? In fact, yeah, let me get this scripture. This is Galatians chapter 2. Let me start at verse 1. It says, Then 14 years after I went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. This is the Apostle Paul. It says, And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preached among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. Why? Because yeah, the, the mission of the Apostle Paul was to preach Yahweh Shai, right? The purpose was to preach Yahweh Shai. So, you know, because at that time, you know, the Apostle Paul was enforcing the law upon the people at that moment because here it is, he wanted to teach Yahweh Shai for the people to have faith in Yahweh Shai, then naturally, through the Spirit, you're going to keep the law, you know? However, when it came to people that were of reputation, he taught them privately. You know, he didn't want other people to see them dealing with they he didn't want other people in the land to see that he was teaching people that were renowned so to speak or well known because they will just fall for the truth because of this person that was of a reputation and not for the love and sincerity that they should have for Yahweh Shai you know so that's why he taught privately you know to people that are well known and who knows man the apostles or other brothers you know could be feet in the truth to what you call famous people. You know, famous people could be having this truth, you know, but it's it's about them learning in secret, learning secretly. Because one thing you don't want to, like, because for an example, if Jay-Z would have got this truth, you know, here it is, say the apostles are teaching Jay-Z and everybody on YouTube knows about it. And Jay-Z's coming on the forefront saying how he believed in Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah. You know how many followers is going to start following this truth? Of the Hebrew Israelites, you know, but that will take the credit away from Yahweh Shai because everybody will be looking up to Jay Z and not Yahweh Shai, you know. But Esau understands that concept to an extent, so that's why he sets up agent provocateurs to go against the truth because people are faithless creatures. The more people that they see going against it, that would generate more people to go against it and to keep people from coming into this faith. You know, but it, but but this truth, but, but however, this truth is uh, um. This truth is for the elect anyway, man. This truth is for the elect. You know, so it's, it's a small number. You know, the truth is for it's a, it's a small number, man. You know, so only a small number is going to be able to receive this truth, and going to be able to get right with this truth. You know, because the point is to not run in vain, man. The point is to. To the, the, the point is to, to run with a purpose, you know, and that's what the Apostle Paul had to do in order for him to run with a purpose, you know. Last and final scripture. This is Philippians chapter 2. I'm going to start at verse 5. Let this mind be in you, which also in Yahweh Shahamashiach, who being in the form of the Heavenly Father, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Heavenly Father, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant. Man, he could have, he could have made himself. You know, he could have, he could have, you know, poked his chest out a little bit. He's the son of man. He's the son of the heavenly father. But he, he's a humble creature. You know, the heavenly father didn't wire him to be boisterous. You know, in that fashion. More importantly, it wasn't that time. It says, but made himself of no reputation, and took upon him the form of a servant. You know, the form of a servant. That's humility and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man. He humbled himself and became obedient unto the death, even the death of the cross, you know, even the death of the cross. So why? Because why? Yeah, how I understand the greater purpose? You know, he was focused on his character and the mission and the purpose that he was sent here on earth for, 
not what other people thought about him. Hell, the, the Lord will do miracles and he will tell the people who held him, don't tell anybody. You know, or when the multitude, you know, will come looking for him, he will go hide in the mountains because he didn't want that recognition. You know, he wasn't doing it to be popular. He was doing it for the love of his people, for the sake of the elect, you know, for the purpose of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, you know. So that pretty much brings a conclusion to this lesson. You know, focus on your character as opposed to your reputation, man. Because your character is who you are. Your reputation is merely what other people think of you. You know, so with that, I would like to give all praises, glory, and honors to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Akakudash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, salutations, and blessings to the elect. Shalom.